Okay, welcome back. Uh, last video we left off talking about kidney stuff, and so I want to come back to talking about acid base. In acid base two lecture, I told you I was giving you the quick and the dirty lesson in acid base as far as uh, did something compensate fully or not fully, et cetera, et cetera. And I said it works most of the time, but not all the time. What I'm going to show you now is what you need to know if you're going out on the floors and attendings are going to ask you, okay, uh, this person has a pH of 7.32, the bicarb is 15, uh, here's the PCO2. What would you expect the PCO2 to be uh, if uh, ventilation was compensating appropriately? And they'll want a number. Uh, or they'll give me the PCO2 and say, is that what you would expect? Uh, so you have to know a little bit more than just did the pH get back in the normal range uh, or was PCO2 out of the normal range. And I have a little square here that's going to tell you exactly how to do that. So first of all, you just need to remember uh, the little saying I got up at the top here. The 45-year-old doctor ran a 612 mile, then fell down on all fours. Now, it sounds really stupid and you're like, how come he's not 48, whatever? Just go over that phrase a few times. The 45-year-old doctor ran a 612 mile, and then fell down on all fours because he was so exhausted. Okay. And you're going to see what that means as I fill out this chart here. So, I have a chart here, and uh, you're going to see there's four squares. Each one represents a metabolic condition. So on the top, we have metabolic, and on the bottom, we have respiratory. Top, uh, in this column, we have acidosis, and in this column, we have alkalosis. Quick reminder that osis refers to the process, while emia refers to the state of the blood. So your acid you have acidemia when your pH is below 7.35, uh, and it's likely because some sort of uh, acidosis that is going on. So, here's how we're going to approach this. Uh, remember, metabolic, respiratory, acidosis, alkalosis. If you're in a pinch and you're trying to remember what goes where, remember it's in alphabetical order. Metabolic before respiratory, MR, and then AC for acidosis between, before AL for alkalosis. Okay. It's all you need to know. So I'm going to fill in those numbers I just told you, 4 and 5, and then I'm going to go over here and put 6, 1, 2. And then the rest of my chart I'm just filling in, oh, I'm sorry, and then he filled out on all 4, so 4 goes to the bottom. And we can worry about what's at the bottom when we get to the end, okay? 4, 5, 6. One, two, and then fours. Okay, so if you want, you can just remember it goes four, five, six, one, two, fours, or you can say the 45 year old doctor ran a six, twelve, fell down on all fours, whatever works for you. And then you're going to fill in your empty slots here, 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 and here with tens. These are all tens. Ten, 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 ten. And that's it. From here, we're just going to fill out arrows for each one. And we're going to go through these stepwise. So, metabolic acidosis, what happens to uh, bicarb, and what happens to PCO2? So we know that in these metabolic conditions, something happens to the bicarb, and then we want to know, did the PCO2 adjust appropriately? For the respiratory conditions, something's going to happen to the PCO2, and we want to know what the bicarb does to adjust. Okay? So, for the metabolic chart, uh, for this top part, we're going to always, the first number will always refer to the bicarb, okay? Because metabolic, the bicarb uh, changes, and then we want to know just the respiratory compensate. So, in metabolic acidosis, we know the bicarb goes down, and when it goes down to compensate, uh, we want to know how much the PCO2 is going to go down to compensate for it. So remember, if you have an acidosis, your bicarbonate goes down, and to compensate, you breathe faster, which makes your PCO2 go down. For every four, for every four that your bicarb goes down, for adequate compensation, your PCO2 should go down five. Okay? And what you're gonna see is that these arrows all go in the same direction, which is really nice. Every square's arrows both go up or both go down. Metabolic alkalosis. Remember, we're going to start with the change in the bicarb here. 
bicarb is going up in metabolic alkalosis, and for every 10, for every 10 that bicarb goes up, PCO2 for an adequate adjustment should go up by 6. Okay? What about respiratory? Well, of course, this whole chart, uh, these four boxes refer to acute conditions. So you can imagine your bicarb can't change uh, very quickly in acute conditions. Okay? But it can change in chronic conditions. So down here is going to be the chronic response, but this is all acute. So in respiratory acidosis, in acidosis you're breathing too slow, and so the PCO2 goes up. And for every 10 the PCO2 goes up to adequately compensate in the acute condition, bicarb goes up 1. What about respiratory alkalosis? Respiratory alkalosis, you're breathing too fast, PCO2 is going down, and for every 10 that it goes down, bicarb acutely will go down 2. Okay? And then finally, uh, for respiratory acidosis that's chronic, instead of 10 to 1, it's 10 to 4, so the kidneys are adjusting here. And for respiratory alkalosis, instead of 10 to 2, it is now also 10, oops, also 10 to 4, okay? So what does all this mean? How would you use it on the floor and how might you answer a question? Well, the example goes like this. You have a patient whose pH is 7.34, you have a bicarb level of 16, and you have a PCA2 of 35, and the question to you, uh, the medical student, uh, intern, or resident standing there is, is this appropriate adjustment uh, by the ventilatory system? Uh, what would you expect the PCO2 to do? And because you've memorized these numbers in your head and you've gone over it several times, uh, you're able to answer this question and it goes like this. You say, okay, uh, patient's acidemic, I know that, and the bicarb's low. Okay, so you know it's metabolic acidosis or you should know that at this point in your career. And if you were to look at the PCO2, the PCO2 is low, meaning they're blowing off CO2, so that you know that's the compensation, not the cause, right? If those concepts are hazy, go back and review acid base uh, one or two. I, I, th I think this is acid base two. I think acid base one is what you want. So <clears throat> what you do is you say, okay, there's a metabolic acidosis because there's acidemia and the bicarb's low. I know that in my chart here, for every four decrease in bicarb, there should be a 5 decrease in PCO2. So here, normal bicarb is about 24, and normal arterial PCO2 is about 40. So uh, bicarb's gone down about 8. So I know adequate compensation should be PCO2 going down about 10. In this case, it's only gone about down about 5. So I would say that something's going on with the ventilatory system that the patient is not breathing uh, as much as they should be to compensate. And uh, I would expect the PCO2 to be closer to 30 in this situation. Okay, that's it for now. I'm going to come back on the next video, acid base 3, I think, and talk a little bit about delta-delta uh, and how to, change, how to tell if you have mixed disorders going on. Thanks.